Okay, today, boys and girls, we're going to share a helpful tech tip. When you're building custom stuff, finding radiator hoses isn't the easiest thing in the world. If you go to O'Reilly's, Advance, AutoZone, whatever, and go up to the counter and say, I would like an upper radiator hose for a 66 Corvette with an LS and a DeWitt's radiator in it, you know, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. There's, you know, you're just not going to get anywhere. So I'm going to show everybody how I find hoses. Okay. And then this one is a handy hose to have just when you're starting up LSs before you put it in a car. It's three quarter on one side, five eighths on the other. So it's just a jumper for the heater hoses. Cause if you block these off on an LS, bad stuff happens. So one zero seven, four, three, just remember that part number for, or if you're putting an LS in something that don't have a heater core, there's your part number. Um, but you can see the lower radiator hose. I picked out 7738 and it goes to the swivel water neck. And you see, I have a little bit of trimming to do so that it'll slide up on the water neck. And then the upper hose, let's see the number. 7600, okay? And get overhead shot of it. Basically, I have a little bit of trimming to do on it. You know, so that it'll go on the water neck and not shove it back. If I shove a whole hose on it, puts it right in the AC clutch. That'd be a bad time. Um, wouldn't be bad till they turned the AC on. Then it would just chew right through. Okay, so how do you make, or not make, how do you find your custom hose? Well, first... You need to know your measurements of the top water pump connection, 1.3. The top radiator connection is 1.26, close enough. Might as well call them, you know, inch and a quarter, inch three-eighths. Well, not quite inch and three-eighths, but inch and a quarter. So the bottom, inch and a half. So once you know those dimensions, now here's the real secret part. This is the this is the top secret info, okay? This is a hose dimensions listed in order by inside diameter. Okay? Now I'll show the address. Um, you can search that. I think you can get it off of any Napa website. But basically, it starts off the document. They're listed by part number. Well, that doesn't help you any because you don't, you don't know the part number yet. So go down to the section, and it starts on page 23, and it starts listing them by inside diameter. Okay. That's the part you want to know. So I'll scroll down. We'll do the one that's inch and a half. We'll do that one. Scroll down. Keep going. Till we get, all right. Inch four eight. There we go. It starts 1.5, inch and a half. And the important thing is, What's the row number? This number over here in the right column, see it starts at 220. Okay, so we're gonna drag way down on the mouse and go way, 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 way down. Row 176. Yeah, we're getting closer, getting closer. Row 220. There you go. Now, it gives you a picture of every radiator hose that is an inch and a half on the inside and what length 
the hose is. So you can look and you find your hose. You're like, all right, what do I think will fit? What do, you know, what's gonna, what's gonna fit? And you keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You're, okay, all right, what looks good? What looks good? And when you find the hose you want, then you can go to the website. And let's say, let's say we picked 7,600, was it? Go to Napa, search. It's going to load. Of course, it, come on. Molded coolant hose. There you go. 16 bucks. There's your coolant hose. Well, that's the inch and a quarter one, but that is all it is to it. And it's got every hose that they make and you can look by the pictures and find it. So again, I'm gonna show the address, which this part over here doesn't matter for you. What you need to put in Google is search that. Now, if y'all can't find this document, just shoot me an email at a and hot rod shop at gmail.com and I'll send you the link so you can get it for yourself. I would email the document, but the document's huge. So you, I'm gonna just have to send you a link. I'm not gonna email the document itself. But I hope that helps on your custom hot rods. So, you know, no more splicing together radiator hoses. You can find the hose you need and Hopefully somebody makes one. So there you go. I've let out one of my secrets, but yeah. So you see, that's how easy it is to find you an upper and a lower radiator hose. And don't forget the LS little bypass hose here, 107.43. So, all right, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, give it a like. Please give us a subscribe. And as how we end all our videos, thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.